achieving the American dream. A Sacramento business owner is living his dream and credits his family and cultural upbringing for motivating him to push for CEO status. David Santiago of Four Guys Print and Mail joins us now to share more of his story and how he's encouraging others in the AAPI community to take up space. Hi, David. Hey, good morning, Aubrey. How are you? We're doing well. Thanks for joining us today. First of all, we want to know, how did you start your business? Uh, started my business about uh, five years ago, uh, originally with three other business partners from a previous company that had closed down. I uh, decided to put the knowledge and experience to the test uh, and start my own business. Uh, the big help of my mother-in-law, who believed in me and uh, backed me up with the starting finance to start the company. Uh, you know, We started up 4GPM, four guys printing mail. Uh, we just passed our five-year anniversary in March, which is a big milestone for us, and um, we're doing the best we can to keep uh, keep business going, uh, get back to where we were pre-pandemic. Uh -huh. uh, along the way, of course, we've had our ups and downs, but uh, somehow, you know, our team managed to pull <laughs> forward and, and keep going. So, uh, for you know, five years later, we've gone through our ups and downs, and we started out as four, four business owners, but uh -huh. now it's just me. Well, I would say, um, I'm sure there's more than four guys helping you, but you are the guy right oh, yeah. now behind the business. How has your family That's influenced it. the work you're doing today in, in running it? Uh, there isn't a day that goes by where I don't appreciate what my family's done for me. I wouldn't be here without them. Uh, my wife, she's been my backbone and I uh, put her through so much since we started our own family in 2008. And uh, she's been the one taking care of our family while I'm working six, seven days a week, you know, mm -hmm. 16, 18 hours a day. Um, my mom and dad who passed away, mom passed away when I was five, dad passed away when I was 18. There isn't a day that I go by without looking up in the sky and saying thank you and hope they're watching down watching down on me. And then my mother and father-in-law, you know, they're they're immigrants from the Philippines and they break their back, they've been breaking their backs to make a living here in the U.S. So uh, they give me motivation to keep working hard. That's awesome. So this month is Amer Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. So as an AAPI business owner, can you share maybe how um, some of your background, those influences have impacted the way you operate and connect with the community? Uh, you know, I know well, there's a big Filipino community here in the Sacramento area. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't for the strength of the community. Uh, I am Filipino and everything in our culture is very much a collective effort. Um, you know, family and community are the building blocks of a successful successful business. So if I can support and uplift other members of the community via uh, monetary donation, print work, promotion, I have and I will. Um, I really think the wins of each of our businesses are a win for all of us. Uh, I love talking with other businesses, uh, business owners, and sharing opportunities for learning more about running a company. Uh, there are many conferences and, and think tanks out there that I always find myself as one of, of very few AAPI attendees. Uh, you know, there's a lack of outreach towards our community in these mm -hmm. spaces. And, and given the opportunity, you know, I send invites out. Uh, we deserve <laughs> to take up the space. <laughs> yeah, what, what kinds of things do you do there? I'm, I'm assuming you're printing and mailing stuff out. Um, but, you know, being an AAPI business owner, in that industry, I mean, um, there, there's a lot of other choices, right? Yeah, I mean, we've we've done everything, you know, from banners, business cards, um, all the way up to direct mail marketing campaigns, uh, pop-up tents, uh, along those lines. Pretty much anything to get printed, we can get done. Um, we just want to be that one-stop shop for anybody that's out there, um, you know. And, and it, come to find out, you know, a lot of a lot of business owners in the AAPI community, they have they have a hard time, you know, you know, facilitating all that. So we just want to be that one contact and manage help facilitate it all. That's great. And how are you hoping to encourage other aspiring business owners in your community? Do you have any advice for them on how to succeed? Uh, you know. I say just keep your head up, stay strong. Don't be afraid to take the risk and gamble. Uh, you know, without big re without big risk, there's there's no big reward. So uh, we've all we've all gone through a lot, and we if we all stick together as a strong community, which we are, uh, I think everybody can can succeed for sure. All right, David Santiago with Four Guys Print and Mail. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. If you want more on this print and mail business, head over to 4GPMSAC.com.